Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna hopefully answer a long um, question that has been answered for a long time. A long question. We're gonna be answering a question that has been asked for a long time, all the time. And um, so we figured we'd do a quick little video on it and kind of give you a demonstration of what exactly uh, the question is, why it works, why it doesn't work, and what you need to do. So, um, of course, the question is going to be, do I have to paint the part before I dip it? Um, and the answer is definitely yes. Now, for those of you who want to um, continue on and to see why, uh, definitely keep watching and you'll see exactly why that needs to happen. But for those of you that just want to watch the quick little video, 10 seconds and see the answer, then the answer is yes, you definitely have to dip, you have to paint it before you dip anything. So let's dive into that. So what we've got here is we've got two simple hard hats. Uh, these are just our training uh, hard hats. So they've been painted a thousand times. But um, so what we've got here is, is this one has already been painted, dipped, clear coated. It's got a blue candy on it, but nevertheless, uh, it's still pretty much uh, a painted surface, but it has been clear coated. So that's the key point. Um, almost any paint that you uh, will run into that is from a manufacturer has already got a top coat on it, whether it's either been powder coated or um, uh, it has been painted, it's more than likely been clear coated. So therefore it gives it a hard, durable uh, finish to allow it to be protected from the elements of rain, scuffs, anything like that. So you definitely want that for normal everyday stuff, right? Which is great. But the problem is, is that the dip will not stick to that. So now we have to prep these out to be able to have the print stick to the actual part that you're trying to dip. So I um, wanted to shoot a quick little video and just show you guys what's gonna happen if you don't prep it out right. So that way we can make the mistakes here, show you guys, and then hopefully you don't make them in your own shop. So what we've got here is we have the SAD 704. It is a skull, it's a flaming skull pattern. And so um, inevitably if we were using this film, we probably would not use it underneath a blue base coat. It'd be better underneath the white, like what we've got right here. But inevitably, it's not gonna stick to this. You'll see why. Um, but you'll also see that the white, whenever we put it under that, it looks 10 times better than whenever we put it underneath the blue. Um, again, you can still use the blue, but it's not gonna look as good and as crisp as what it will with the white underneath it. So, um, the other thing is, is that we're gonna take this, we're gonna dip this one first, and then after we dip this one, we'll show you guys what happens, we'll explain why, and then of course, we'll dip this one that already has been painted and been prepped out, and then show you guys why and how it works. So, let's get our film and get started. Also, if you're curious, you can uh, check the link below. We'll have the uh, link to this film if uh, you're interested in purchasing it. Uh, you can check it out in the description below. We'll pick this up, lay it in the water, and do the first dip. So this film is really easy to work with, really well behaved. Um, we'll start our timer. So one minute at 80 to 90 degrees on the water. And pretty much from here, we'll start pulling in our dividers. And so you can see the film is starting to wrinkle just a little bit, and then it's starting to expand. It's not a big deal. Um, we've got plenty of room for expansion. Now that it's expanded, just like what it did, uh, now we can go ahead and pull this in a little bit tighter. Drop this down like that. And of course, pull our divider in down here. And now we're ready to activate it whenever our timer goes off. So let's grab some gloves, get the helmet ready, and get ready to dip. All right, so we got one minute on the water. Let's go ahead and activate this. So 
So again, we've got this one right here, which has been fully clear coated and pretty much like what you would see from any factory finish. So we're going to wait just a little bit until this fully glasses out. And then once it fully glasses out, then we will be ready to dip it. All right, so let's just go ahead. And on this one right here, we're just literally just gonna go straight down with it. Doesn't really matter on the stretch because again, it will not actually adhere to the surface at all. So now that we've got that right there, we'll pull this back out. And all in all, everything looks pretty good on it, all the way around. But the problem that you're gonna see here is, is that once this is sitting here like this, inevitably it's not going to actually adhere because if you watch, whenever I take and I go to rub this like this, you see how it's already starting to peel off and then literally it's just coming right off of the part. Now again, I'm not pushing it hard or anything like that, but the problem is is that it's it doesn't have anything to bond to. So therefore, if the clear coat is already fully cured out, then the print has nothing to stick to. So therefore, whenever it doesn't have anything to stick to, then it's just gonna slide right off the print. So, so whenever we go to rinse this and then dry it off, probably 80 to 90% of it is going to be completely rinsed off of the entire part because you have nothing to bond to it. And so that's where the paint is really critical in this step because you have to, of course, prep it out right so that way it sticks to the part itself, whether it be plastic, metal, uh, skulls, or anything like that. Then, once you have it prepped out right, then you have to paint it. And so the paint doesn't fully cure out until a certain amount of time. And so that's where what we call a dipping window comes into play. So with the paint that we have, um, and you can see in the description below with the link on it, um, the paint that we have, we have been able to get upwards of a month or two dipping window out of, which is more than enough. Most of the time, you can dip to it within probably 10 to 15 minutes right after you've sprayed it, which is in, uh, really good. And so the good thing about that is, is that because it's not fully cured out, it will actually bond into the paint, which is exactly what you want. Instead of right now, whenever we're sitting here and just letting it sit like this, you can see as I just wipe this off, I mean, literally, it's just coming off completely. Just even just wiping that off just like that. Even up here on top, you can see if I just take my hand like this, it's literally just wiping off everything all the way around. So, of course, whenever we go to rinse this, it's not gonna stick. So, let's reset. Let's get our painted part that we've got right now and throw the film in the water, let it sit. We'll do the same thing with it and show you guys a totally different result. So, keep watching. All right, so now that we've got everything glassed out, again, we'll just take this and go straight down with it and we'll show you guys the difference on this. So, a correctly dipped part, of course, you can see the white makes it pop 10 times better. But the other thing is, is that whenever we touch it, it actually stays on there. And so literally, it's not going anywhere. So, as you can tell, a correctly dipped and correctly activated part, it holds very well, and that's the key to making the hydrographics work. Of course, there's a lot more keys than just that one, but you can quickly see that any part that you have, even if you needed a black base coat, and your part is already black, you still have to prep it out and paint it black again 
to get the actual paint on the part so that way the part will be able to accept the dip correctly because as you saw a factory painted part or any type of part that already has a clear coat or some type of hard coating over the top of it definitely not going to work it's going to wipe off you can clearly see this right here we're sitting there rubbing it and everything and it is literally on there so um, hopefully this video has really helped you guys out um, if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them below we'd love to hear from you and also if you haven't already definitely hit the subscribe button we'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks i'm brian from liquid concepts and this is how we customize your world we'll see you guys next time